What's up, everybody? Crypto Muscle. Oh, yeah. Coming to you with another YouTube video. And you know what? I got another episode of A Crypto Story. Oh, yeah. And uh, these last couple of weeks, I've uh, talked about stories in crypto, right? I mean, these were big times in crypto. And, you know, they that paved the way for my participation in crypto platforms and all that stuff. And you know what? Let's just get straight to it because, man, there's a lot to tell in such a short time. 15 minutes and 2 seconds. So, uh, last couple of videos I started these crypto stories. Uh, you know, it's just kind of a look back at things and how we came to be, right? And so, uh, I'll just reference to the last video, right? You could, you know, check back uh, at my past videos if you really want to check out what I was talking about. But I'm going to dive in a little bit deeper. So last week I talked about, oh, and by the way, uh, I usually do it on Wednesdays and I was so packed, jam packed, full of content. I mean, I couldn't squeeze one in on Wednesday, so I had to put it today. So uh, here we are. Uh, last I talked about was my big three, right? I put into, you saw Link Connect. There's Novaland and let's see, what's this other one here? And xrp connect all right so i talked about how you know the bunch, you know lending platforms were just skipping away left and right uh they were just taking money leaving the scene um all these connects was taboo bit connects so anything connected to the the word connect <laughs> was bad right it's taboo so because you know because of what happened with bit connect right so Link Connect, um, there's ETH Connect, XRP Connect, all this stuff, right? And so changes started happening in the space because Nova Lend, all right, became a different name later on. So obviously, uh, after a little bit of time, they said, oh, we're going to change our name to Nova Chain, all right? So they became Nova Chain. And then XRP Connect, all right? They supposedly uh, went a different direction and said, all right, um, we're going to change to uh, arbitraging. And, hey, we have a new CEO, David Peterson, and all that stuff, right? And then, of course, Lend Connect over time became Etherlink, all right? They supposedly had a fork, and it became Etherlink. So that's what happened with all those. And I guess you could say this is kind of like a part two to what I talked about last week. And I wanted to go dive into this a bit more because of the fact that arbitraging became huge in the space, right? So, uh, Etherlink slash Link Connect, you know, I, I did my research. I thought, oh, man, this is going to be the best one compared to all the other ones I've seen. Because I've been in all those platforms, all right? I mean, if you look at the comment that was made here, let's see here if I can find the comment. There's a very interesting comment. Um, by one of the my subscribers here, he brought up a good one because he was just like, "Yeah, man, he brought up all these names and bring back memories, bring back different YouTubers and stuff." And I was like, "Yeah, yeah, you know, this definitely brings back memories." Let's see, oh, there, DJ and AD, right? And uh, look, look at these names he brought up: Yoku Coin, Western Coin, all these different coins back then, right? Falcon Coin, uh, Forza Coin, Devor Big Connect. He's like, brought up those names, right? And I mean, look at all the other names he brought up here. Remember all these other platforms too? There's Regal Coin, Bit Petite. Remember Bit Petite, Western Coin, uh, Forza Coin. And he brought up DJ and AD. But look at all these other names here: uh, Ducky Crypto, Crypto Boost, Donny Boy. Donny Boy completely just—he had a huge YouTube. Uh, what do you call it? Subscriber count, but nobody watched his videos. Though. I was looking at his had his stuff. I was like, man, nobody ever watches his videos because I, I used to watch his stuff, right? And he sucks too, by the way. Uh, Crypto Clover, that's another one, right? Bring back memories. Look at all that. And I got, I got even more for you. So, so he remembers. He's rehashing the past with me here in the comments here. And uh, you know, 2017, 2018 was just crazy with these platforms. And so, um, but yeah. So let me go back to here. Oh nope, not here. Here it is. Yeah. So as Things started happening with this platform where I had all my money in. I was like, man, something's up with this, you know. Like, 
things weren't going right because of the plans, right? You go into the plans, right? These lending plans, even though it's Etherlink and they got away from the name, you know, oh, you know, you're supposed to just do this and then it's supposed to just continue to blow up your stash and then you can have money. You sell it on the internal exchange and, and you come to find out as time went on, we all started to learn internal exchange is bad because if you have uh, no buyers buying it, all right, then um, you're screwed. And, you know, it's only if people are, in, are part of the platform. So you have all these people that are outside the platform that doesn't have any sort of link or exposure to a platform like an Etherlink, nobody's going to buy the shit. And so what happens? You get screwed. And that's what happened with a lot of these platforms because they all had these internal exchanges. And that was the only way you could get rid of these, uh, you know, tokens or coins in order to supposedly make real crypto so you could cash it out. And so that's what sucked about these platforms. And then came arbitrage. And so with arbitraging, they uh, supposedly uh, became a game changer in the space because, uh, you know, they and they, they kind of were right because they, they blew up huge. All right. With all the different YouTubers involved with it, the way they went about things, it, it was different than all these other platforms that we've seen. Right. Um, you know, you had the supposed CEO showing his face for the first time. All these other platforms, they, they never showed their faces and stuff, right? So it, it was it was a kind of a game-changing platform. And when you looked at, oh man, David Pisa, oh I show my face, oh I do this, I do that. You know, it, it was it was different. It was it was almost like a breath of fresh air at that time, right? You had all these other YouTubers on board, right? The Clovers, the Batman's, Austin's, you know, Shoe Money, all this other, right? What's his name? Uh, Adam Hole. <laughs> uh, yeah, this guy here. Uh, what's his name? I forgot his name, but he was a big face of the platform. So, and Cowboy here, Crypto or Country Boy. Sorry, Crypto Country Boy. So, when you see all that, and you see all the names that were involved with this thing, you know, Bitsways, all these dweebs and all that, right? You started, you were like, wow, man, this is good. This is the platform, you know? And uh, I actually did all right with this platform, believe it or not. And so, um, you know, when it came to, you know, it was collecting ARBs, right? You sell your ARBs, you get ETH. You know, that's how it was back then, right? You just keep getting ARBs, 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 right? And I kept collecting them to the point where I said, all right, I can start selling it now. And I had a pretty <laughs> big A bot at the time. That's what they were when you collect all your ARBs and you want to try to make more of it. You put them in the A bot, right? Because that's what it was back then. And so... Look at all these uh, videos they had back then with arbitraging, right? With, you know, revolution in crypto. I watched all these people. Right? Oh, that's the dude right here. PJ3, that was the guy I pointed out in the very beginning. PJ3 was kind of like the face of the platform as well. You know, he was kind of like, uh, oh, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, the supporter of the community. I could, I'm the, the go-to guy for arbitrage and for the community. You could talk to me if there's something going on. And, you know, he, he supposedly, oh, man, I, I tell the truth, blah, blah, blah. And, I mean, look at it. See, here's some of the other names, right, that were out there as well, just to kind of throw this out there. Finecoin, guys remember Finecoin, right? Lupex, right? Monetize. I mean, we, I, I remember all these platforms. I, I didn't go into all of them, but I went into a lot of them at the time uh, during that whole uh, era, I guess you could say, of platforms and all that, and coins that came out, right? There's always a new coin that came out, always something going on, right? And so uh, I went into a lot of it thinking that, oh, man, these YouTubers are in it, and, and uh, oh, shit, you know, these things are going to go good and things like that, and it did in the beginning, obviously, and then it didn't. And the way platforms were back then is, to me, different than the way platforms are now because at least you don't have all these shit coins you're dealing with in all these platforms that you like you have to do back then. Because back then, that's what it was. You're buying into their shit coin with your real crypto. And yeah, you might make a little bit of money in the beginning because you're selling it, whatever. But then it comes to the point where uh, they turn off the faucet, right? And now you're stuck with all these shit coins and you can't sell them. And that's what became with a lot of these platforms. Whereas these days, today... When it comes to platforms and all that, at least, what, 99% of these platforms that I talk about or that I participated in, 
and that I put out there have all been about Bitcoin and Bitcoin out, crypto in, crypto out, right? So that's a positive step compared to these guys. So look at all these notable names back then, right? I used to watch all these guys too, like Crypt Austin, IL Matt, you know, the Matty Cryptos I like to slam on all the time because he's fake, Kinetic Energy, this, all these guys disappeared too. Look, IL Matt disappeared. Matty's nearly disappearing. Huh? Kinetic's gone. Crypto Keepers, his stuff is still out there, but he's disappeared now. No, no new stuff. And of course, I smash Tiwi all the time. PJ3's gone. Bitsway's gone. Shoe Money. I hear he's still around, but I don't know. Supposedly, he was the guy that put in a big, big contribution to arbitrage and stuff. And supposedly, there was like a lawsuit because he was supposed to get some sort of money from it. You know, because he was a big contributor and he didn't get nothing. I don't know. But I don't know. I don't care. But Whale Miners, uh, I heard his channel got taken down. Uh, Revolution's gone. Sensei's gone. I mean, look at all these names, right? You know, of course, you throw in the Clovers, all these people, right? And uh, I did a 10-part series, believe it or not, on my old channel about arbitrage. And it was a 10-part series about what happened in the beginning, kind of the stories that went on with arbitraging to the to the end, right? When you had people, the outsiders, that kept saying, hey, man, arbitrage is garbage. You had, uh, you know, the Oracle. You had, uh, remember, uh, Crypto Saint. Uh, I, I used to watch this, the Saint videos all the time, and he kept on just digging and digging and digging, and that's what started the seed of doubt for me with these platforms back then, and especially with arbitrage, and the man is like, man, why are you giving me the seed of doubt now, you know, but look what happened, it, be, it came to be, and so with these platforms, look at that, they had Coin Lotto, you guys remember that, so, you know, and I didn't go into that Coin Lotto, after what was going on with arbitrage and you start seeing things right i started seeing the fakeness of some of these youtubers actually a lot of these youtubers that we show listed here right especially for me notably all right bits away and dewan as soon as i saw how fake they were and they, and the videos that they showed i mean it was on video showing how fake they were all right where you were one minute oh man it's all about arbitrage to the next minute Oh, man, arbitrage is a piece of shit. David Peterson is a piece of shit. All this stuff, right? And I was like, what the hell is this from, you know? And all of a sudden, because Bits Away is crying about not getting paid, you know, all this stuff I did, man, and I didn't get paid for it, blah, 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 you should do the right thing. And that was all on video, all right? And what happens? David Peterson pays him an A-bot. And he gets all happy. Oh, yeah, arbitrage is the greatest thing. There. Shut the fuck up, you know? I mean, that was literally what came to my head. When I saw that next video when he got paid, and I saw a similar thing with Dewan, you know, I'm going to take a step back because I'm not seeing, I'm not liking what I'm seeing with arbitrage. It's like, shut the hell up, man. One minute you're all about arbitrage, and the next minute you're going to take a step back. Shut up. You know? And that's what happened with me. And as I started to see these things happening and developing, that's when I started to see in the light, holy shit. All these guys are a bunch of frauds and fakes and all that out there. And from there, of course, all these uh, platforms that I mentioned beforehand failed. You know, they all failed. I was about a week away from cashing out big time with NovaChain. And then they completely exited. And then at that point, um, probably about, I think it was like literally a week later, cash effects came on the scene and that became a game changer because it wasn't like any of these type of platforms that we were in with all these oh buy into this shit coin and uh yeah and you can make a lot of money with these shit coins and then cash it out oh no you're stuck no it was bitcoin in bitcoin out and that paved the way for a new class of platforms from there on out as all these old style shit coin platforms died right and so that's what happened with all this. And uh, oh yeah, here's another homage I wanted to pay to. Uh, oh yes, the big naturals here. Oh yeah, Miss Crypto Flower. I I used to love watching her. You know, she was talking about all these platforms all the time. And so to Crypto Flower, we need you to come back to the scene with those big naturals. Come on back. I'm I'm, I'm a big supporter. So yeah, comment down below. Let me know what you think about. 
the latest story, and I'll see you in the next one.